Hey guys and welcome back and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul. So it is super late in the evening for me. Definitely too late to be out in anybody's store. However, it is just what it is. Today's schedule was just kind of up and down, down and up. Ended up going to three separate stores. Totally was not my plan, but that is just the way the cookie crumbles. So I have a little chit chat before we get into the weekly grocery haul. And I have a question for you guys as well. But for anyone that may be new here, hi and welcome. Just to let you know, we are a family of six, seven when you include Lola the Pug. And I do also make all of her homemade meals as well. She is no longer eating any dog food whatsoever. So grocery budget has slightly increased due to that as well as because I am now doing the ketogenic diet, the grocery budget has slightly increased because of that. Typically, I would spend about $100 a week for groceries. Now, I'm roughly at about $150 to $175, just depending on what we have on the meal plan and what exactly we may be in need of. So, anyways, I thought I would give Sam's a try today, thinking that I can pick up our weekly staple items milk, salad, fruit, veggies, etc. That by buying it at Sam's, I would get it in a larger quantity and it would last a little bit longer. So since we are all eating um, a lot cleaner, and by cleaner, I mean we're just, we're not eating so much from box meals anymore. Um, and even the kids are starting to reach for fresh fruits and veggies to snack on versus going to box goods and snacks, you know, crackers and all that stuff. I still buy that for the kids. Um, but they are reaching for more healthier options, which I'm not complaining about that at all. So I have noticed that when I bring fruit in, as soon as I set it down, it disappears. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'm not getting enough. And maybe going to Sam's and getting a large quantity would, um, would work. So anyways, that was my thought process. However, I went to Sam's first and I was sadly disappointed. Milk there for a gallon was $2.44. And well, I just cannot bring my pocketbook to pay $2.44 for a gallon of milk. Not when I can get it at Kroger's for $1.99. I know, that's about a 50 cent difference there, but it makes all the difference in the world. It does. <laughs> it legit does, especially when you shop frugally and you know you can get certain things a whole lot cheaper. So... Anyways, I did not get milk at Sam's. I did pick up a few other things since I was already there um, that was still above my price point for what I would want to pay. Then with the apples and the oranges at Sam's, they had a three pack of apples for $5.98, so $6. I could get a three, and I say three pack, three pounds. I could get three pounds at the 99 cent store for $2.49 or $2.50. So again, a little tough to swallow picking up the same quantity for a whole lot more. So, I did not get apples there. Ended up going to 99 cent store to get that. So, anyways, uh, my conclusion is I will continue to shop Sam's as I have always done, which is typically once to twice a month, just picking up some, um, basically I get a lot of the kids snack items there if I don't pick up snack items or have not been able to stock up on snack items between the 99 cent store and Kroger, I'll go to Sam's and buy a larger quantity because I not only feed my kids snacks, but also the daycare kids as well. Um, so anyways, I'll keep Sam's for that purpose. But my question to you is, do you have Sam's membership or do you have Costco? And which one do you prefer? So if you have ever shopped at Sam's or ever shopped at Costco, give me your thoughts and your opinions down below as far as their prices. Um, on food items. That's what I'm really more concerned with. Paper goods, I'm good with that because I keep buying. But when it comes to food items, what is what is better, Sam's or Costco? I have shopped at Costco, never had a membership there, been there maybe once or twice with a girlfriend, but we have always been um, Sam's club shoppers. So anyways, I'm just, I think I'm just wanting to see what else is out there. That's probably what it is. See what else is out there over at Costco, whether or not I want to just trade, um, not renew my membership for Sam's and then just hit up Costco. So I don't know, figuring it out. But that's my question to you, which is better, Sam's or Costco in your opinion? So 
I'm going to stop um, yapping, turn the camera around, show you guys what I got at all three stores, and then we'll also hop into this week's meal plan. All right, so with Sam's, I went ahead and got three bunches of bananas, $1.39 each. Again, quite expensive. I could do $0.49 cent between Kroger and a $0.99 cent store. Then on the tuna, this is a 12-pack for $9.48. It's about the same if I would have just purchased 12 cans individually at the grocery store. They're about $0.78 cent each, so about the same price there. Cookie dough, I believe this was $7.98 seven if I'm not mistaken. Cinnamon rolls, $6.98. Now, typically, I always get this case of cinnamon rolls from Sam's every month, so the kids will have these for um, a quick breakfast on Sunday and Saturday and Sunday. However, if I'm able to stock up during one of Kroger's like mega sales, then I stock up that way, and when we run low, then we head back to Sam's to get this big container here. The strawberries, uh, $4.98 for two pounds, and then the salad mix was $1.39 for two pounds. So, this here is probably like the biggest savings I got besides my cinnamon rolls, which is just a staple um, Sam's item we always get. But I would say here is probably like one of the other um, biggest savings. Now, I still need to get myself some salad. I like to use the baby spring mix salad. And they had it at Sam's, but they had such a huge container. I know that I would not go through all of it myself before it went bad. So... Um, I didn't get it there. I'll get a smaller container at Kroger when I go, and I'll mix in some of this here um, with my salad. So, yeah, this is everything I got at Sam's. Let's go ahead and hop into Kroger and the 99 cent store. All right, then over at the 99 cent store, I picked up two of the three count of the Jiffy to go containers. The hubby takes these here to um, work for his lunch or snacks. The nectarines were $1.99. The find of the day was the mega pack of the granola bars, 18 count, OMG, these were 99 cents, so I picked up four boxes, such an awesome, awesome find. Bare Naked Granola, this is original cinnamon, it has cranberries, sunflower seeds, um, and cinnamon. I picked that up from Madison, she's the only one that likes granola for her yogurt. Then some raspberries, 99 cents, blueberries, 99 cents. The apples and oranges, $2.49 for three pounds. The fruit punch, complete spurge buy. Don't shop with the hubby. 99 cent. Have no idea why he purchased this. Like Jalen will legit drink this in one setting if you let him. And then another impulse buy by the hubby. Some strawberry flavored aloe vera juice. Uh, I don't know about that. But again, don't shop with the hubby. So these were, I think, 99 cent. He went off onto an aisle by himself, and that's what he came back with. It is what it is. And then I picked up some, um, one of these chopped salad kits, the Asian kit. It just looked it pretty delicious. They didn't have any of the um, baby spree mix salad, so I figured I'll just try this out. It has romaine, red and green cabbage, carrots, green onions. Um, it has a vinaigrette, so yeah, sliced almonds. Wouton strips too. Yeah, I figure I'll try it out. I think this would be considered dirty keto, but whatever. All right, so that is everything I picked up at the 99 cent store. Again, such an awesome find on these mega pack 18 boards of granola. Definitely will be going back to another location to see if they have more and pick up a few more boxes. The location I was at only had eight, so I only took four. I try not to be too greedy. That way someone else can score on the deal as well. So let's get into what I picked up at Kroger. All right, so over at Kroger, just a few things I picked up. The DiGiorno pieces are $3.99 each. That is the sale price. I had a store coupon for a dollar off any frozen food items, so I saved a dollar there. Kosar is a dollar and twenty-nine cents. The heavy whipping cream is three twenty-nine. That's regular price. The guacamole is three forty-nine, and that was on sale. Then the milk is a dollar ninety-nine. The cinnamon toast crunch. Now these are part of the mega as well as these items here. The cinnamon toast crunch and the what is this? Cinnamon toast chocolate crunch. So same difference. They're $1.79. It's the mega price. We have a dollar off one insert coupon, making them $0.79 cent total. So not too bad there. Now, I originally picked up two of the Lucky Charms here, thinking they were also included in the Buy 5, Save 5, but sadly they were not. So I put those back and then grabbed two more of the barbecue sauces just to make my Buy 5, Save 5. So just in case you are new to couponing at Kroger, with their buy five, save five, or any mega deals, it is buy five participating items, 
save five dollars instantly and you can mix and match so again the cereals a dollar and 79 cent on the mega i used a dollar off one insert coupon making them 79 cent each then on the barbecue sauce they're 49 cent on a mega no coupons available no coupons needed 49 cent is definitely a good stock up price for um barbecue sauce and then on the two pays they're $1.99 on the mega we have the two dollar off one insert coupon making it absolutely free and then on the palm all of their 99 cent on the mega we have a 50 cent off one insert coupon making it 49 cent so not too shabby there just a few deals picking up i hope to get back out to kroger's to do some more mega shopping as there are tons and tons of products included in the mega promotion my store that i shopped at tonight is just completely wiped out of everything so anyways let's get into the menu. all right so hopping into the menu plan now i use this template i'll have the original um the link to this template linked in the description box for you if you are interested in it i found it way back when off of pinterest i think and i just printed it off i laminated it, and then i use a wet erase marker to um write in the week's meals and it sits on the side of the refrigerator that way everyone can see what's going on and i'm not the only one responsible pretty much even though I end up being the only one responsible, but in theory, everyone sees what's going on and anyone can go into the refrigerator, into the freezer and pull out what's needed for dinner. So getting into it now, I write out everything that the family will be eating. I am eating completely ketogenic um, diet. There are some things that, well, what I do is the main protein source, I cook that for the family and then I make it for myself keto -fied. To make life a little bit easier so on sunday for breakfast the kids are going to have cinnamon rolls with fruit i will have fruit and probably bacon or sausage um, for my breakfast now what i do is i make sure i keep ketogenic friendly foods on hand at all times in the refrigerator in the freezer and so on that way i stay on track as best as possible and i don't fall off the bandwagon even though lately man it has been a struggle okay moving on for lunch for the kiddos, ham and cheese sliders. For myself, I will end up having um, just a really nice big salad and I'll probably put some chicken breast with it. And I have just a few packs of the already made like chicken fajita meat. I'll just quickly warm that up on the stove and then have that with a nice big salad. For dinner on Sunday, I have a few dishes already prepped in the freezer, um, like dump and go crock pot meals. So one of those is sweet orange chicken. All it is is drumsticks seasoned to your liking. I use a sweet orange marinade and then a little bit of Frank's um, red, hot, um, red hot sauce. And then Sunday, I'll just throw it all into the crock pot and then that will be dinner for the kiddos as well as myself. For the kiddos, I'll probably serve it with rice um, since that glaze will make a really nice um, gravy. So I'll make it with rice and then for myself, I'll have it with veggies. And then on Monday, another freezer meal, I have baked pasta. All it is is ground meat, seasoned to your liking, pasta, pasta sauce, and some, um, I think I put sausage in it as well. For myself, I will have it with just the meat sauce and I'll serve it over veggie noodles for me and the hubby. And then on Tuesday, everyone will have egg roll in a bowl. Wednesday will be breakfast night. So the kids will probably do pancakes and eggs and sausage. I will just have the eggs and sausage and then on thursday sausage with vegetables friday is pizza night don't tell the kiddos but i'm going to try a keto friendly fat dough pizza recipe what, you heard mason say what mama get out my conversation with the camera <laughs> i didn't say nothing we have a pizza on friday don't worry about it and then saturday for breakfast will be um the kids can choose what they want we have so many activities going on on saturday so whatever, they got plenty of options to um, pull from, they can choose. And then for lunch, I'll have hamburgers and then dad will make enchiladas on Saturday. I personally don't care for enchiladas. So what I'm gonna have him do is when he does um, his ground meat, just put me some to the side and I'll make myself a keto friendly taco bowl. And that'll be my plan. You came and get it, get it straight. Madison come down here with a, a necklace on and a new tank top. And I'm like, where you going? Where you get it from? Anyways, um, that was my grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely comment down below letting me know. Sam's or Costco, what do you guys think? Who is better? And I think I need to just figure out a day to go buy Costco, walk through the store, do some price comparison. 
um, and see. And I think it's just more so I wanted to check it out. That's really nosy. That's really what it is. I'm wanting to check it out and see what Costco has versus what Sam's have. That's that's really what's going on. But anyways, I'll let you guys go. Thanks so very much. And until next time, bye.